Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will explore the definition, classification, pathology, diagnosis, and management of osteoarthritis OA of the knee. Join us as we delve into the various aspects of this non-inflammatory, degenerative joint condition. 1. Definition Osteoarthritis is a degenerative condition characterized by the deterioration of articular cartilage and the formation of osteophytes new bone growth within the joints. Unlike inflammatory arthritis, it is primarily caused by wear and tear changes that occur with age, especially in weight-bearing joints. 2. Classification There are two main types of osteoarthritis, primary OA and secondary OA. A primary OA, it is more common and its exact cause is still unknown. It typically affects older individuals without any previous joint pathology, primarily occurring in weight-bearing joints due to age-related degeneration. B. Secondary OA, it is caused by a predisposing factor such as joint injury, previous infection, rheumatoid arthritis RA, congenital hip dysplasia CDH, joint deformity, obesity, hyperthyroidism, or other underlying conditions. 3. Epidemiology, knee OA is the most common cause of disability in adults, leading to decreased work productivity and increased medical expenses. In countries like India, the prevalence of OA is higher due to cultural habits like sitting cross-legged and squatting. For knee anatomy, the knee joint is formed by the femur, tibia, and patella. Understanding the structure of the knee helps in comprehending the pathological changes that occur in OA. 5. Pathology OA primarily affects the articular cartilage, which serves as a shock absorber. Over time, erosion occurs, leading to cartilage loss and exposing underlying bone. Changes in the bone, such as subchondral sclerosis, cyst formation, and osteophyte formation, further contribute to joint degeneration. The synovial membrane, capsule, ligaments, and muscles surrounding the knee also undergo degenerative changes. 6. Risk Factors Several factors increase the risk of developing knee OA, including age, female gender especially postmenopausal, obesity, previous knee injury, lower extremity malalignment, habitual squatting or sitting cross-legged, high impact activities, muscle weakness, and osteoporosis. 7. Diagnosis The diagnosis of knee OA involves a combination of clinical symptoms, blood tests, joint fluid analysis arthrocentesis, x-rays, and sometimes MRI. Symptoms include pain, joint stiffness, swelling, crepitus, varus deformity, synovial thickening, and effusion. 8. kellegren lorentz grading The severity of knee OA can be assessed using the kellegren lorentz grading system, which categorizes the condition into five grades based on radiographic findings. 9. Management The management of knee OA focuses on both non-surgical and surgical approaches. Non-surgical interventions include weight loss, exercise programs, physiotherapy, quadriceps strengthening, low-impact activities, ambulatory assist devices canes, walkers, insoles, and medical treatments such as chondroprotective agents, analgesics, anti-inflammatory drugs, intra-articular injections, and anti-osteoporotic treatment. Surgical options include high tibial osteotomy, partial knee arthroplasty, and total knee arthroplasty. 10. Maintaining Knee Health We conclude the video by discussing the importance of maintaining knee health through a protein-rich diet, intake of vitamins and minerals, consumption of antioxidants, wearing appropriate footwear with insoles, reducing pressure on the knee joint, and using a cane for support when necessary. Conclusion Osteoarthritis of the knee is a prevalent condition that can significantly impact a person's daily life. Understanding its definition, classification, pathology, diagnosis, and management is crucial for individuals affected by this condition and those seeking to support them. By implementing appropriate measures such as weight loss, exercise, physiotherapy, and medical interventions, individuals can effectively manage their symptoms and improve their quality of life. Surgical options may be considered for more severe cases. Remember, taking proactive steps to maintain knee health, such as adopting a healthy lifestyle and using assistive devices when necessary, can help prevent or manage knee OA effectively. Thank you for watching this presentation on osteoarthritis of the knee. We hope you found it informative and useful. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to cover, 
please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more health-related content. Stay healthy and take care of your knees.